The main event of CES MMA 35 will feature Andres Judy taking on our next guest, Pedro Gonzalez, who is stepping into the MMA cage for the first time in nearly two years. Pedro, appreciate the time. Uh, obviously, I, I know you've been competing in, in Muay Thai and in lion fights, whatnot, but what, what drew you back to MMA? Uh, honestly, it's just where my record is. You know, I am 11 and 5. And um, I just, you know, that's where my fire burns. Um, you know, when I first started fighting, it, it's I started out with just MMA. I didn't have a background in wrestling or boxing or anything. I just went uh, straight into MMA. So it's where it's where my love is at, man. Um, you know, Muay Thai just came around. I was also doing pro boxing too. Um, I just wasn't getting the fights in MMA I, I needed and. Um, you know, Muay Thai and boxing came up, so um, I took advantage of that just to keep sharp and, you know, stay in shape and stay fighting and stay busy. And uh, that's really why I turned to Muay Thai and, and boxing. But um, like I said, you know, MMA is just where my record is. You know, um, I'm on three fight win streak. Uh, I mean, I haven't fought in almost a couple of years, but, um, you know, I'm hoping this year will change all that. So I, you know, win my next two or three and hopefully get a call from the big show. How much uh, about this fight booking was the opportunity to headline a card in, in Massachusetts? Uh, honestly, I live 15 minutes away. Um, so I could not pass up on this opportunity. Um, I was supposed to, I was actually scheduled, um, to fight for a lion fight uh, in February, and then I got injured a little bit. I was still fighting injuries from the past uh, lion fight event uh, in November, um, and then I had heard about you know CES coming to uh, to Beverly, and that's uh, I just wanted to stay healthy, you know, heal my injuries, and you know take full um, advantage of that. And you know, like I said, it's 15 minutes away from where I live in Gloucester. Um, you know, and as far as, you know, ticket sales and getting my, you know, hometown people there, you know, they they can't miss this one is what I'm saying. <laughs> I know there there's always pressure in fights, no matter, you know, we're talking MMA, boxing, Muay Thai, whatever it is. But do you feel any additional pressure knowing that this is so close to your home and there's going to be so many people in the stands that, that know you and, and uh, you know, live near you? Uh, no, actually, I actually enjoy that. You know, a lot of, um, uh, I mean, you know, a lot of my fights I've, I've always been in, you know, their backyard or, or I've always, um, haven't had much of a crowd there. Usually if, if there's a crowd, you know, screaming for me, it's, it's, you know, the people that live in that town that know about me or the people around the surrounding areas know about me and they come to watch me fight. But, um, it's been tough, you know because I, I fight so far away sometimes, you know, and, and in Connecticut or Rhode Island or, or up in Maine or New Hampshire. So it, it's tough to get a lot of uh, people from my area up there. So th this is actually going to boost me. So this I don't feel any pressure. Um, my training camp's going good. Everything's going well. My weight's good. Um, so now I just got to get in there and perform. I know you you fought at a couple of different weight classes, lightweight, bantamweight, you know, this one featherweight. Uh, where where do you feel your long term home is? Is it one forty five or is it somewhere else? Uh, that's. I mean, it's hard to tell. Um, when I first, I, I my whole career, I've never had you know a nutritionist or I never had anybody tell me how to eat, what to eat. So I've kind of just been learning, you know, as I go and and. When I first started, I, I fought at featherweight. I had a couple fights at lightweight, um, and then I found that I could make you know bantamweight. Um, so I, I do feel comfortable at, at bantamweight. I, I just don't know if maybe me getting older, it's taking a toll on my body, or so. So really, this fight is just to see where I'm at. I mean, with, with Lion Fight, I, I've been, you know, fighting at uh, 142, 147. So I, I know I can make the 145 weight class. Um, I just want to see where I'm at as far as, make you know, constantly, consistently making, you know, the 42, 45, and 
you know, the last weight cut I had for the lion fight um, back in November, I was I made 42. I, I didn't have to cut any weight. I woke up on weight. I was actually, my teammate was uh, over a couple pounds, so I was actually in the sauna still cutting weight with him. So I felt great. Um, I still think I can make Bantam weight. I just want to be, um, you know, if, if I get called to, to, to UFC or Bellator, I, I think Bantam weight would be my... Uh, my ultimate decision to stay at. Once again, joining us here on the MMA Report on Radio Influence is Pedro Gonzalez. He's going to be in the main event of CES MMA 35 coming up on Saturday, April the 16th at the North Shore Music Theater in Beverly, Massachusetts. And by the way, this is not an event that will air live on Access TV. Now, when you look at your opponent here in Andres Jude, he has lost three of his last four fights. His last fight was, was a loss. Uh, decision defeat against Leon Davis is uh, all three of those defeats have come by decision. Um, you know, when you start to think about some of the, the strengths and challenges that he's going to bring to the cage on fight night, what come to mind? Um, honestly, I, I respect a lot of those guys. I respect Andres. Um, I just don't think, um, you know, his last few losses, uh, you know, were to kind of grapplers and stuff like that. So, and I've come a long way on my stand up. But uh, honestly, um, I just think what I'm bringing to the table is it's going to be too much. You know, I fight with a lot of aggression and I, I want to finish fights. You know, um, if you look at my wins, you know, I'm, I think I'm at like 90% finish rate. You know, um, so. I just I don't want to go to the judges. I don't want to have that that doubt. You know, maybe he could have won. No, I just I want to finish definitively. And I think my game plan, what I'm bringing to the table, it's, it's just going to be too much for him. And um, so uh, first and second round, I'm hoping I get it done. For you, you talked about going to go out there and be aggressive. But what's the difference between being a controlled aggressive and careless aggression? Uh, I think just picking your shots. I mean, um, I like to kind of be in and out, but still bring pressure. Um, I guess it's just, you know, being smart and just picking your shots. I mean, uh, you see a lot of people going in there with aggression. They just go and just throw, you know, crazy haymakers hooks and just, they just go at it. Um, I think my aggression is more just, um, Coming forward, but picking my shots. You know what I'm saying? And, of course, this is the main event of CES MMA 35 on Saturday, April the 16th in Beverly, Massachusetts. Uh, is is ultimately the key for you in this fight is to go out there and fight your fight? I mean, is that pretty much the way you kind of look at it? Yeah. I mean, honestly, everybody says they have a game plan. And, you know, I have my game plan, but, um, you know, I, Andreas is, a, is kind of a, a, uh, a slow starter. You know, he's, he's traditionally a Muay Thai guy. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping uh, me, you know, coming out strong. The first round, you know, wear him down and, you know, just tease him a little bit and strike with him, take him down, strike with him, take him down, you know, and just just stay, uh, stay aggressive and look to look for the finish. Pedro, I really do appreciate time. Good luck in the fight, and uh, good luck in the future, man. All right. Thank you, man. Thank you for the interview.